from Coventry, British wrestling legend, Jetta. Jetta not happy with Chris Hatch's initial introduction there. Clearly feeling that she deserves much more respect than she was given. Ladies and gentlemen, this tag match certainly has a lot of combustible elements. Right now, Tennessee Honey is in the same place as her IPW UK Women's Championship for the very first time since she won it last month at Christmas Cracker in Tunbridge. If you remember, it was Jetta who was refereeing that contest. But after the match, after Tennessee Honey had defeated Eddie Starr, Jetta attacked Tennessee Honey and walked off stealing the IPW UK Women's Championship as she left. None of us have even seen that belt yet. None of us have seen that championship. Jetta, as far as I'm aware, is the only person outside of IPW UK management to have witnessed, seen and held that title. And that must be killing Tennessee Honey to know that that championship she worked so hard for, that title, which she holds with pride, still is not within her grasp. She still has not laid eyes on that prize, on that championship. And right now, we see Tony Storm and Jetta squaring off in the ring, and it's Tony Storm taking control of the wrist early on in this contest. Tony Storm maintaining control of the wrist there. Taking Jetta down. Tightening up, adding pressure to that hold. Jetta looks to try and find a way out, but Tony Storm takes her right back down to the canvas. Jetta stamping on the toes of Tony Storm, able to reverse the pressure, put Tony Storm into the wrist lock, but Tony Storm, what technical skills there from this young Australian. Now with that front face lock, as Jetta manages to make her way back to her feet. And now it's Jetta with the headlock. Rope shoulder tackle takes Tony Storm down. And Tony Storm using using her rear end there to take her opponent off of her feet. But now sent it to the corner. And Jetta seems very pleased with herself as Tony Storm manages to escape. Drop kick. And Tony Storm is looking good here in the opening minutes of this contest as she tags in Tennessee Honey. And Jetta wants no part of Tennessee Honey at this point in the contest. And she's, she's looking for a breather on the outside there next to our fans. And be here in only her second match. Remember, it was last month. Sorry, last month, earlier this month at Future 15, where B made her debut in Selston, Surrey against Rosie Lee, who she was able to defeat via pinfall. And B looks in trouble here against the IPW UK Women's Champion. It's Tennessee and he goes for a pinfall. Only a one count there. She may need to do a bit more before she's able to take B out of this contest. As Tony Storm gets tagged back in. And Tony Storm and Tennessee Honey make quite an interesting team here. Here are two young ladies who have wrestled each other twice. With one pinfall, pinfall victory apiece. 
As they make great use of quick tags here, working on the arm of B. It was their first matchup at Future 13 in Swanley. Back here in Swanley on the 19th of July last year, where Tony Storm in her debut for IPWK was able to defeat Tennessee Honey. But it was later on at the Tap and Tin in Chatham that Tennessee Honey was able to even the scoreboard at the, if you like, Pina Coladas and getting kicked in the face event on the 23rd of August that she was able to even the score up with a pinfall victory over Tony Storm as Tony Storm now slams B down to the canvas and B looks like she could be in trouble Tony Storm not going for a pinfall there, hits the ropes and Jetta, you can see the veteran instinct of Jetta there a 14 year professional, she debuted back in 2002 and this is the ring smarts of Jetta. She, you can only imagine what kind of insight she has given to be, the kind of tactics she has taught her in order to win this tag team contest, keeping the referee distracted there as they choked Tony Storm. And that was that was not even a tag. That was not even a tag. Referee Steve Linsky there, he, he heard the tag. It was right behind his head. I'm not sure how he didn't notice, but... But clearly he's allowing it right now. Steve Linsky can only call what he sees. As Jetta now begins to punish Tony Storm as she teases the tag, teases the tag there with Tennessee Honey. And you see the look of concern on Tennessee Honey's face for her partner. No! Jetta is biting, biting her opponent. But those are those veteran instincts once again knowing when and how to break the rules and get away with it. One, two, three. Making good use of the referee's five count there, and there's, there's the bell, we're, we're not sure why. Referee Steve Linsky hasn't got a clue. Clearly, this contest is continuing, the contest is not stopping there. And once again, B distracting the referee so that Jetta can cheat. Jetta is choking Tony Storm now back in the corner. Tennessee, honey, I know she's getting frustrated. She wants to stop this happening, this absolute mugging that is taking place right now. But that certainly isn't going to help Tony Storm at this point at the contest. As B looking very impressive here, in full control with Tony Storm. It might not be the most sporting of attitudes that's helping her win and dominate in this contest, but certainly B and Jetta looking like a very impressive tag team right now. As Jetta sends Tony Storm off the ropes, big clothesline. And Jetta is very pleased with herself once again. Took a lot of time going for that pinfall. That could have been a mistake right there. Look at this, using the elbow, the forearm, scratching against Tony Storm's ear. Another pinfall attempt. Barely a two count that time. I think Linsky called that as a one. Look at this, arguing with Linsky, pointing at the fence. Oh, she's choking Tony Storm there. Linsky just saw what was going on. He's certainly having trouble with maintaining control of this contest. So these are some very combustible elements. The veteran rule breaker Jetta. The young New Zealander B. Someone we can already see has a bad attitude and a willingness to break the rules. In only her second match here in IPW. As Jetta now trying to hyperextend that shoulder. Trying to pull it right out of its socket. And Tony Storm, maybe just too short. Her legs just not quite long enough to kick Jetta away. And you can see the anguish, the agony on her face as that shoulder gets ripped out of its joint, ripped out of its socket. One, two. You ready for a big move? And the loudmouth Jetta, Coventry's loudest. Oh, just teasing the crowd with something spectacular and just and just a slap to the face. What disrespect. What this is absolutely disgusting. But it's Tony Storm now, back elbow. Kick there. Tony Storm up to the second rope. 
using a backside to attack Jessa once again. As, as B makes her way around the ring, Tony Storm's almost by Tennessee Honey. Almost there. She's about to make the tag, and now Tennessee Honey pulled off the apron by B. Tony Storm in a world of trouble right now. She may have taken Jetta down once again, but she desperately needs to make this tag to get her team back into this contest. The tactics being employed by Jetta and B right now certainly working to good effect, but this is not the kind of sportsmanship that we'd like to see, or sportswomanship, if you will, as B now wearing down Tony Storm with that chin lock. Tennessee Honey desperately reaching out. There's still so much room between these two young ladies. Still a long way to go. Tony Stormfront face first into the canvas. <laughs> Thrown into that turbuckle pad with authority. Another tag. Slap to the chest. And a big kick to the midsection. Jetta, Jetta. Low drop kick to the knee since Tennessee Honey flying off the apron. And now they send Steve Linsky to, to check on Tennessee Honey. Look at this. This double team choking maneuver. All the pressure, all the weight, all, all the air. Struggling to get through the throat, the breathing passages. Tony Storm. Still only a two count though. As Jetta is growing more and more angry, more and more frustrated here. Tony Storm now firing up. Big elbow, but Jetta fires back. Another slap from Jetta. Tony Storm with a boot. And that looked like it took every last ounce of energy that she had. As she desperately reaches. There still looks to be at least four feet between these two before they can tag. As Tony Storm desperately Definitely winning herself, trying to drag herself with every ounce of energy she has left towards Tennessee Honey to make that tag. She's almost there. All she has to do is reach out, and there it is, Tennessee Honey now. B tagged in. Kick to the midsection, sends B to the floor. Another kick, and here's Tennessee Honey with that flurry of kicks we've seen before. B, this is a clothesline, drop kick to the knee. And there's that neck breaker. And B is in trouble, but Jetta from behind. But Tennessee Honey right back up. Massive forearm blow there. Jetta goes to the outside, grabbing the title belt. I think I think Jetta's out of here. She wants no more of this. As Tennessee Honey looks for that discus clothesline. Tony Storm now. German suplex, my word. Did you see the way B landed there? Somehow she's back to her feet. There's that discus clothesline. Tennessee Honey now. Does she have two, three? Tennessee Honey has done it. She has beaten B, pinned B. Jetta though, she is, Jetta has disappeared. She wants nothing to do with Tennessee Honey right now.